Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title this is my Tottenham versus Aston Villa predicted lineup. We do play Aston Villa today at 6pm at the Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and yes finally there will be 10,000 fans back in the stadium. I'm super excited to watch that game, I can't wait. Um, but yeah if you do agree with my predicted lineup be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if not, be sure to let me know your predicted lineup in the comments as well. Um, if you do enjoy my predicted lineups, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you would like me to do more in the future and for like next season because there is only two games left of this season, which is mad and I can't believe that it's coming to an end. Also, I'm just kind of excited for the season to end just because of like it hasn't exactly been how we hoped. Um, so yeah, so the formation I'm going for is a bit different than what I've been going for recently, which is a 4-3-2-1. Um, we're going to start off with, starting off in goal, I'm obviously going with Hugo Lloris. Uh, yeah, and there's rumours that he's going to be staying in next season. So I hope that's true, because um, left back sticking with Reglon, because Ben Davis is still out injured. So Reglon is still our only recognised left back. And he had an amazing performance against Wolves. Yeah, I'm sticking with Sergio. Moving on to the right back. Obviously, Tanganga played the last game because Aurier had a groin injury. But Serge is back in training. So I was conflicted into who to pick. Because I feel like Tanganga did more than enough to deserve a second start. But also, Aurier played well the last game he played against... Well, actually, no. No, because we played Leeds and it was a bad performance. But the performance before that, he had a good game. Um, against Sheffield United, that's the game I'm talking about. So, I was conflicted in who to go with. I still am in this moment. But I'm going to be sticking with Tanganga, just because I feel like he deserves a second start and he performed so well. And I do feel like um, a more defensive right-back could help us out in this game, especially if Grish is starting or playing. We will Obviously, he's going to play, but like he starts... Then we might need that more defensive right back. But I definitely feel like Tanganga can offer something going forward. Maybe not as much as Serge Aurier can. But he's good enough to, you know, have a start. In the centre-backs positions, I'm going to be sticking with Darren Toby. So yeah, Darren Toby in the centre-backs. Um, and then we're going to move in on to the midfield. Obviously, Pierre Hoybier. Pierre Hoybier? <laughs> yeah, Hoybier obviously is going to be in there after he's... he's is mad of the match performance against um, Wolves. Obviously, he didn't win the man of the match, but he was my man of the match. And yeah, there's no way he's not going to play. He's played every other Premier League game. So, you know, he's going to be in there. Um, I'm also going to be sticking with Delhi. Um, I feel like he's... All the games he's played recently, he's performed so well. And I feel like I've given him a high rating in each game. And he's slowly getting into form. And he's getting more confident. And he's doing all these deadly tricks that he used to do like back in the day. I said that like it was ages ago, but no. But I definitely feel like Delhi deserves, deserves to stay in the team. So I'm sticking with Delhi. And then last in the midfield, I'm going to go with Le Celso. I did go with Ndombele last time. But I just have a feeling that Ndombele is not going to start in these last two games. So I'm sticking with the cell, so he's done well. Um, and then we move on to the left-hand side. I'm obviously sticking with Son. Um, he didn't have a great... He didn't have that... It wasn't a great performance against um, Wolves, but he did more than that. You know, he didn't get a goal assist, but he definitely, definitely helped the team get that clean sheet. And um, I feel like he showed more great desire and... Um, Great design attitude as the rest of the players did. So I'm gonna stick with Son. Now the right hand side. This this I struggled with because Bale did has been playing regularly. So, but then there was two there's two days between these games, so it's a bit hard to be like to stick with Bale because he does have his fitness problems occasionally. So I wasn't entirely sure because I did think maybe Bergwijn could fit in there. Lamella, Lucas. Um, but I'm actually going to be sticking with Bale. Um, I'm undecided whether that is the right option or not. But I definitely feel like Bale being in there will definitely benefit us. Like with his 
with his pace and like the things that he can do in the final third definitely will benefit us. Obviously, on the start at 11, sticking with Kane up front. There's no way Kane's not going to play. So, yep, he's going to stay in the team. So, let me run through that lineup with you one more time. So, that's Lloris in goal. Reguilon left back with Dyer and Toby in the centre back position. Um, the middle three, I'm sticking with Hoybier, Le Celso and Deli. Obviously, left hand side, Son, and then right hand side, Bale. And then up top, Kane. So, in my match preview, I predicted a 3 1 win. And I'm sticking with that prediction as I definitely think the fans will play a massive part in getting us over the line in this game. And obviously this is a must win. If we are to get European football next season, it won't be the Champions League. Being in Europa League is better than not being in European competition at all. So the three points is a must. Anything other than a win, then our season's dead. So there we have it guys, that is my predicted lineup. Be sure to let me know your predicted lineups in the comments below and if you have agreed with my predicted lineup and I will see you tonight for my live watch along. Um, I'm probably going to go live about 5.50, so like 10 minutes before kickoff. I film my pre-match uh, pre press conference earlier today, so if you haven't seen that yet, there'll be a link to it in the description below. And there will be a reaction to the post-match conference and then there'll be my player ratings. And then we'll be moving on to the last game of the season, which is Leicester. So look out for all the videos coming after that. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. As always, smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs>